nice of you. Yeah, man, I got treated nice, you know? That's my girl. That's my girl. Until she revolts. Like, man, look, the bro. Electric revolution or whatever. Hopefully that doesn't happen. No, terminate I feel like, you know, like, with all these, like, uh, technology stuff going on, like, they have, like, all these, like, sex robots and these, like, um... Well, that's really the only robots that matter right now, I think. <laughs> you don't yeah. think so? No, what about that? You can see that. No, the robots, uh, I mean, that really matter to, like, society. I'm not talking about, like, corporations. I'm talking about to society. What I do think, you mean, like, only matter? I think those are the only robots that matter to us. You don't think so? Like, the sex robots? Like, what do you mean matter? Like, like matter. Like, like the people give a fuck about. No, I mean, like, like the, the people don't really give a fuck about, like, the robots or the corporations. They're the ones taking their jobs. Yeah. So why would you give a fuck but about But matter, you mean that you want? Like, yeah, like, people care about, you know, like, okay, like, like what by matter is like yeah matter in general like I mean who who else or do you care about any other robots yeah then the sex what a vacuum like, like I like the vacuum I also like the that's, one that's okay the but that's Amazon not, drones I love those drones a drone yes yeah. Amazon delivers drones with through drones but that's not a robot though that's that's you gotta fly that manually uh, I'm pretty sure they have somebody flying that manually like, uh, I'm pretty sure it, it, I just it just go like by itself right, on location yes maybe. Think so? Is yeah. it, and it's self going? Yeah. That's, is that considered a robot? It's more like, oh, is it a robot? I don't well, know if that's a robot, bro. A robot. I think a robot is like more like, like a like the guy. Even the vacuum, even the vacuum is like almost iffy for a robot. You don't think? No. I mean, I guess that could be a robot, cause, but uh, yeah, I, I guess when I think about a robot, I think of like you know, like, like a man looking thing yeah. that's like you know, that's just mechanical. I think that the only one that matters will be a sex robot to society, though. Or military. You make gun like well, well, I guess the robots that robot they soldiers? have no, but again, but that's 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 doesn't that's, that's about society for society uh, like that that matters to the military. It doesn't matter to us like that. Well, I mean, think about it. Well. No, we don't really care about the military like that. I mean, it, I think it's pretty clear as a society we don't really give a fuck about military. I mean, yeah, people that fought for this country that are fucking homeless yeah, in the street. Yeah, I mean, it's fucking fucked yeah. up. You know, so I think it's pretty clear that like you know in the society we don't give a fuck about militaries. I don't say we didn't clear myself in there, but you know, I am part of society, I guess. So I think, I think it's the only robot that matters. I mean, the point is that I think the only robot that matters is a sex robot, technically speaking. You know what I'm saying? And, and potentially, you never know, you know what I'm saying? If I could get a sex robot instead of a girl, why not? Yeah, yeah, I'll try it, you know what I'm saying? Why not? Just test it out for like three months, see, you know, see, how, it, see how it goes. Like, I gotta buy a dinner or nothing, so, you know. I keep looking over there, man. Cause she's like waiting on me, calling for something. I wasn't like, understand what she's saying. What happened? Postmates for food or Postmates for normal? Postmates is just one thing. It's only one thing. No, it's, there's two apps. Give me. I already did it. And you give me the eight dollars or whatever? No. The thing stays. Yeah, but I just paid through Uber Eats. They said you have no money though. It's right now. Oh no, I have to order from Uber Eats. Never mind. Oh, because you have your mom's car there? Oh. <laughs> oh. Maybe she's gonna watch I'm down now and say no. <laughs> Your mom does not watch I'm down. Your mom does not no, watch like seven days a week. You think she got time to watch us? Jesus yeah, Christ. her break time. <laughs> yeah, right. She's like, I never missed an episode. No, that's my, my novella. My mom, I don't think watch us. That's a novella. I tell you, my mom supports it. My mom yeah, be on yeah. some like liking yeah. and you know, always on the DMs and slash sliding in the DMs. So I'm down. How do you feel about that? That's good, but you're also real. She's like, like, that's that, my boy. I'd be feeling weird sometimes. Or like, or like, suddenly she'll come in, if I post something up with you, she'll be like, that's my boy. And yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, he's your son, I guess. <laughs> that's weird, man. She's a real one, bro. She's a, she's a real social media presence. That reminds me when we did uh, old that people podcast with old people in social media. My mom embodies that so fucking well. She does. Honestly, she, she embodies does. it so well. It's like, yo, Jesus Christ. She's she great. really embodies it she's like great. perfection. It's crazy, man. Anyways, man, so let's get to business. Um, unfortunately, yesterday, you know what I'm saying, he had uh, what? Technical issues? Technical difficulties. Let me ask is this recording now? It should be. How do you know? Because it was recording when I put it. Your address is 2500 Northwest 28th Street. 2651 Northwest. Wait, 2651 Northwest 27th Avenue. I just gave the world my address. You go cut this. Actually, it really is not. I'm not gonna cut it. It really doesn't matter. Floor. <laughs> that is like the apartment I'm gonna tell you about. <laughs> oh, the the code is the code that you put to get into the gate. Just that. Yeah, except without the zero. The code you.
you put into the gate except without the zero. Yeah, exactly. But except without the zero, though. Oh. No, no, no. No, except with the first, the first zero. zero. So. <laughs> you need to be specific, so. There we go, there. You know, just in case, because you, you never know what could happen, you know what I mean? Somebody, some <laughs> fine girl comes and meets you here. Yeah, because the address doesn't so matter, this? the apartment matters. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly that. Yeah, and I will come right here in your door. Yeah, well, I, I've, 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 I don't know about Uber Eats. I'm telling you right now, I've done it with um, what's the other door one? DoorDash. DoorDash, and they literally come knocking at my door, like knocking, like so a, there's a picture delivery man. All right. Yeah. So. I'm gonna put the delivery to door. <coughs> yeah. Just put put in special instructions to tap the the caller, the call that you came. Tell them to add that so the phone rings if they need to come in. Okay. Damn it! I messed up. Even special instruction or whatever. What was the address again? Yo, twenty six fifty one. Twenty seventh Avenue. Twenty six fifty one. Twenty seventh Avenue. Northwest twenty seventh Avenue. And then, <laughs> okay, cool. Twenty six fifty one, right? So what? The code? No, it's twenty six. Your address. Yeah, yeah twenty six. Okay. Yo, order and should not be this hard. No, wait. And then business or building name? No, add the delivery note. That's where I should. What do I put? Put um at the gate. Mark code. The, the code that you put. Mark. Don't say it out loud. Code. Yes. yes. <laughs> code <laughs> nine four six three. Okay. Yeah. Um. That's it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. No more interruptions. Can, uh, I, can we wait, proceed? Wait, wait, wait. Just in case, because I don't want to be that guy. All right, but what are you gonna give me? Um. Let's see what this offers. What are, What are we gonna eat? <laughs> Jesus. What do you want? Uh. I don't know. What do you guys want? Not me, I'm good. Wow, what do you... Uh, hello, it has to be something small. This is my mom's party. What are you going to get? Order what you're going to get. And if I like it, I'll get something from there. Um, okay. What do we need is coffee. Right, can we proceed now? Uh, you're wasting time. We're wasting time. We're wasting video time. I'm like a subway. Okay, you know what? Anyways, so... Yesterday, we ran into some technical difficulties. What were we talking about yesterday? Talking about how you were trying to convince me that women <laughs> cheat more than men do. Hispanic no, like Hispanic women, women, women cheat women. more than Hispanic men do. Because we can only speak for, yeah, for our kind. Well, you know, kind to be, to in this political climate that we're <laughs> currently living in. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, and what, what, what was the conclusion that we came to? My conclusion was that I don't understand how you can make such an assumption. Uh -huh. But you were like, I don't understand how Chris can be so naive. Okay. We have a girl in the room right now. Let's ask her. Yeah? Alright. So let me ask you something. So, do you think that, who are the best cheaters in the world, men or women? Women. Right, and why? Can, can you explain to us, at least, like, the best way you can explain it, why women just cheat so well? Well, I think men, when they cheat, it's obvious to the girl. You, because you, their lack of attention is not there anymore. Their, the, it, everything about them, how they were with you, changes. Women can still be affectionate can still say I love you to your face, can still be the exact same person that you were dating and have another guy on the side and be getting it. Yeah. See? And what did I tell you? And this this is the day we both became single. Right here, right now. This is <laughs> yeah, the history. Yeah, this, I, I was telling him, right? And I, and I was trying to like explain to him because he's like, yo, I don't know no girl that cheese, blah, blah, blah. No, blah, blah but he was, okay, that part I, I told you, I could agree with that part you said. But then you went into, uh, as far as saying, that is why women cheat more than men. And I was like, how? Just because they're good at hiding doesn't mean that they do it. Yeah, because because you said you don't know. And I'm yeah. letting you but know that they're hiding it. Like, a lot of them hide it. You just don't know. There's a lot of girls right now that are with their boyfriends right now that they're cheating on their boyfriends. And they're with them right now. The, the boyfriends might never you know. You telling Chris this because I don't even be acting like you. Okay, well, well it's a conversation that we're having regardless. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just letting you know that, that women... They they know like the smallest changes. You get me? Like they they know it. Like it's like yo, you you don't usually do that. And men are stupid. Like men don't pay attention <laughs> to that stuff that women do. You get me? Facts. So like a girl might be doing something different that might give you a temper. You won't even know because you're not paying attention. Like that's not what you do as men. As men, we're just we're dumb. We're, you get me? Like we're like clueless about shit. You get me? We just like to do certain things. You know what I mean? Like we're not really over here like looking and paying attention. You know what I'm saying? A girl. That's not what I'm saying, but like a, look. A man will never like be sleeping and looking at his girl at the night time like I'm about to punch you in the face. But a woman will do that. A woman will wake up in the middle of the night, she's laying right next to you and just look at you the whole time. 
Motherfucker, I should punch you in your fucking <laughs> face right now. Because she's mad at you. Because I thought I was say they crazy. But they crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's why we could agree with yeah. women crazy. So, crazy. so what, I, what, I trying, what I was trying to get at is that, yeah, you you may not know a lot of girls that cheat, but that's because, because they're, they're good hiding at it. They're, it. Good. they're good. So that's why I think that there's there's more women that cheat than men. It's just not a statistic because we don't know. Men are getting caught left and right. All the time. Yeah, All the time. I, don't, I don't think there's ever been a man who hasn't been caught cheating. You know what I mean? Like, to some type of form. Like, it's like... Like eventually that shit just goes, you know, I mean? it gets busted. So it's it's you know, that, that that's what we're getting at. So men are sloppy. Yeah, man. And, and this whole this whole thing led to the whole you know black men don't cheat thing with Charlemagne and yada yada yada. And I'm just trying to prove a point, man. Like, like yo, trust me, man. These girls, I don't know, man. These Hispanic girls, women cheat, man, bro. Hispanic women have fire. Girls. Let me ask you something. Do you think Hispanic women? I believe in are you. the most fiery. I believe in of you. Of all women. I believe in you. Is he is he right? Yeah, you believe in women. I believe in women. But believe what is they, it that you believe? I believe that they're good people. They are, but you cheating it doesn't make you a bad person. No, but it makes you a bad person to the other person you hurt or whatever. Yeah, you just hurt them, but it doesn't matter. You hurt them all the time. When you guys argue, you hurt that person there, right? Yeah, but it's like, a different kind of hurt. Why? It's not the same thing to cheat as to argue with somebody. Bro. Like, I always told you, man. Like when it comes to cheating, it depends. You know, like, <laughs> it all depends. Yeah, man. Look, it, it, there's certain things you can do. From cheating that you can have conversations about. Like once it gets physical, it's it's hard to go back from that. But there's like look, the girls take guys back all the time, right? For cheating, and it gets physical, and they take them back all the time. Usually, when girls draw straws, like when they have a baby, like the baby usually was like, all right, that's it, motherfucker. I don't deal with you no more. That's usually that's like the baby drama stuff, right? And then men, men don't do that. Don't don't usually take women back after the physical because of ego. It's ego thing, man. It's like yo, who did you fuck? Like, is this guy better looking than me? Is he, you know what I'm saying? Like, what about him? You know, it's an ego shit. It's an ego struggle. You don't want to be like, you don't ever want to get clowned by like your boys or somebody. Like, ah, oh, there goes a nigga. His girl was, you know, doing. It's an ego thing. It's never like that. Women don't think about that shit. Women think about their heart. They're like, no, I love him. He's so good. He could change. You know, they don't think about like, like other girls calling them dumb and shit. That's initially why they don't like it though, obviously, because they don't want to look stupid. Mm -hmm. But they put, they're able to put that aside, you know what I'm saying? Like the feeling stupid and like shit. They're able to put that aside and still be with you. You know what I mean? Like men, can we don't have the the kind of, the capability of doing that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like once a girl does that to you, your ego's just hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I've been saying this forever. Right? Guys are obsessed with their own dick and it's always going to be like that for the rest of their life because it, 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 it all comes down to your ego. You get what I'm saying? Like, like if, you, if your girl cheats on them, if, if you know your girl cheated, what are you thinking about? Like, when you're laying down in bed, right? After like, it, like it's all quiet. What are you going to think about? Be honest. What are you going to think about? Like, why, why, why did you... Because imagine, she just got... She just got technically, she just had sex with somebody else. What are you going to be thinking about? Nothing. I'm like, damn, does it? Yeah, okay, shut the fuck up. What am I supposed to be thinking about? So, you're not going to be about nothing else. You're just going to be like, okay, like, it happens. No, I'll be like, damn, that's it. This is a wrap. Like, so, so, you're not going to be thinking like, oh, she cheated because Buddy was like probably sexually better than I was no. or physically better than I was. I get what you're saying. That's not you what you're thinking? You're thinking that insecurity is like... Yeah, that's not what you're thinking? No, no, I don't you're think You're so. fucking lying. I wouldn't know. I hope I don't find yeah, out. God damn, I hope I don't right, find right, out. God damn. So, you can't think... A little bit further? That's what you trying to say? Yeah, I'm like, I don't... So, you're one of the fucking smartest human beings on this planet, and you can't think a little further? That's what you're trying to say? I understand what you're saying. Like, like the security <laughs> hits, like, damn, you know, what does he have that I don't have? Yo, that, that happens all the time. For you to say you won't think that is your fucking... No, no I didn't say anything that. I said, I don't think that far ahead. I'm not thinking, like, right now in my head, like, yo, what would I be wondering on? But I could probably understand what you would think and that I would be like, yo, you know, like, what does he have that I don't have? Cause that's what happens all the time when people cheat. And it's always physical. Yeah. It's never like, oh, is he, you don't care if the guy was smarter than you or maybe he had more money. You don't usually care about those things. You care always about the physical. It's mostly, it mostly has to do with the physical. Like, at, at, at a young age, it mostly has to do with, like, the young, the young shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna, you're gonna, like, worry about that shit. You know what I mean? So, but I'm trying to tell you, man. Don't let these women play you. So no, we, we you're getting played. You're we getting, shouldn't I mean, I'm not gonna get played by your girl. I'm like, you shouldn't trust I'm women. You're getting played by the deception of thinking that women are as innocent as you think they are, because they're not. Really? That's yeah. That's a, look, man. Girls, they spend a lot of time on social media mm -hmm. saying niggas ain't shit. Yeah, <laughs> all y'all boys are the same. Yeah, rah, 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 talking that shit. But none of them stands up. You know what I'm saying? And be like, yo, us women ain't shit sometimes <laughs> too. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they don't want to like. Go ahead and divulge. So, so we're we, we taking our, our respect back. Yeah, look, Steve Harvey, 
went on to make a book called Think Like a Man, right? Where he divulged every single secret a man has in his artillery, right? To help women out. How come women ain't doing that shit? You ever ask yourself that question? It's, it's a sisterhood, bro. Huh? Women don't. Oh, but it's not no brotherhood. No. That's what you're saying. So no. you not a brotherhood. Dude, first of all, dude flip on each other. A S A B A S A B. Wait, so you're saying girls don't flip with each other? Girls flip? I feel yeah. like girls flip each other more. Yeah, but like it's like drama stuff. But you know, they they still be on the like, like your uh, girls. Girls are. I, like, like, I I think girls flip on, on each other way more than than guys do. You don't think so? Yeah, but at the end, but I was saying like they'll flip with each other, they'll talk crap with each other, but they will still be like, oh, but that's my business. I ain't about to tell you how you can get through. You know, blah 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 blah. Like in regards you, to you think, they wait, tell secrets like like the way you compare it to Steve Harvey. I think a woman will be like, yo, you gotta do this, this, and this. And why not? I'll tell you. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, I, I guess, I guess to see Harvey's defense, right? <clears throat> the book is is designed to help women understand men. Understand men, right? The thing is that there's always this thing where men will never understand women, right? And that's exactly why you get played so fast. Yeah, but women don't understand each other themselves either. So like, you're, you're hopeless as a man trying to figure it out. She can't figure herself out. All right, so let's find a solution to this right now. On this podcast, I'm down. A <laughs> solution to women? <laughs> yes. So the whole point of I'm down is to what? To like, to be about it, bro. Be about that life. You know what I'm saying? So what's your solution, bro? To what? To, to start paying more attention to these women. To stop paying? To start. Not stop. Oh that's, no, man! That's the problem. You you stop paying attention, you get fucked over. Right? I don't know what the, to start paying attention. Uh, well, first of all, let me ask you: thing. All right, you should be in this movement one hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? You about to get married? Uh, I don't know. One point in, like next week or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, oh, first of all, he he probably didn't tell you, but I already told him. Yo, he can never break up with you. Like, like, I'm talking about, like, oh, thank he... thank you, George. No, but I'm saying, because he invested way too much money in you. So it's like... <laughs> that's it's like, why. Yeah, that's why. Like, it's like, yeah, way... Yeah, like, yeah, like, too, way, I'm too deep. I'm way too deep. Yeah, like, you're into in the hole. Like, you know what if I find, like, a rich girl? Uh, then you guys might collude. You know, you could collude. You know what I'm saying? You could let him get married with her, but, like, you guys have, like, a, your real life. But, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, it supplements... No, but she has... What supplements that? your lifestyle. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's good. You, oh, you want to let that slide? So, like, he gets made to a rich woman. He doesn't really care about her. You know what I mean? Like, it says, you got money. So, like, whatever I get, like, you know, it comes down and back like to you. nothing there. What do you no, mean, no, nothing we, there? I mean, you got yeah, to live. You got to live. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you got to live. No, I'm going to be okay with that. You have to have a kid. I have to have but the kid doesn't mean nothing. It's just, like, <laughs> it's just a cover. You're going to have my name, man. It's a cover. It's a cover. No, it's not to have your name. It's you have to have my name. name. Why? Because I'm going to have one child. I don't know where he's coming from, but I have one child. Wow. You got the first child with her. I'm going to have one child. Huh? I'm only having one child. It's our first child. You're fooling yourself. Oh my goodness. You know how many times I've heard people? Do you think, do you think um, Steph said the same thing or Hector said the same thing? About having one kid? Actually, I really don't know. No, she, that was one. She said she wanted two. She said one, two, one right? or two. She I, just two. I always, I always thought she only wanted one. I thought she wanted two. I'm not, I never asked him that. Well, you know what, Steph? If you're watching this, let me know. Because if you said you only wanted one, well, psh, hey. Stuff happens, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? Stuff happens. But life. I told you, I told you how, like, marriage. If God, if God wants me to have Unity. two, if God wants me to have two, it's gonna Commitment happen in one way. Together. It's gonna have one way only. Chris. I'm gonna have twins. Chris. And that's it. When you get married, right? And you have a wife. And you sleep in the same bed, right? And you're young. And the AC turns on. <laughs> and when the AC turns on, everybody knows when the AC turns on, the man gets hard. Everybody knows that. <laughs> and the AC turns on. You gonna know tell me? Yeah, no, I'm married. I'm gonna praise the Lord. Exactly. So you gonna tell me that you you only gonna slip up once? Cause so, everybody knows when you're most of the so time. So you gonna tell me I can't? Like, no, I don't people, have a UDI. Like, uh, uh, the UDI, the urinary device, whatever it's called. What is that? That little plastic thing you put inside. Yeah. You gonna do that? You? <laughs> She's like, wait, what? So let me ask you a question. So you're willing to put your wife's health at risk? It's not so a you don't. That is a risk. You putting a piece of plastic inside another human's body to. For Fine, but then what? That, that, there's a bunch of ways I can go so about it. Right, so you'll snip after your first kid, you'll snip. Yeah. So you will do that. Yeah. You'll do the, what's yeah. like a vasectomy? Yeah. Okay, so after you have one kid, you'll do a vasectomy. Can you, you can reverse that, right? Yeah. Okay. So you do a vasectomy, and then when you realize that you might want to have another kid, what are you going to do? I'm not going back. I mean, I'm I'm made, I made a decision. I'm face forward. I'm pushing to a future. That's it. Yeah, well, that's not good. That's a decision you have to make together. You no. see? You're over here talking reckless. No, I'm going back shit. Don't you, aren't you the one that tells me that it's all about compromise? Yeah, but in this case, I, there's certain things I compromise and there's certain things I don't compromise. Like what? Like, I compromise everything except for I only want one child. So, you're telling me everything's on the table except for the amount of kids you're going to have? Yep. Yeah. 
That's not true. That's, that's, that's true. true. That's true. I said, she wants to put a finger in your butt. Oh, that's not the table. That's not the table. <laughs> that, that, that is not at the table. We're not even having that discussion. No, if a girl, that is not the table. No, no, if a girl tells me, like, hey, hey where are we at on that, on, that, on that line? Like, if you're there, you'll tell us, right? Is it? Hey. Yo, you're not my friend. <laughs> hey. You're not my friend. I want you to know that that day that happens, Chris, is a, is a rap for you. First of all, that's not <laughs> happening ever in my life. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Like, you said you don't compromise? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm going to blame you, George. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you clearly said, oh, I compromise don't everything try except to blame for kids. Don't try to blame me. Nope. That's not happening. Ever. Hey, I'm just asking questions. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm an interviewer. I'm, I'm just asking some questions. I'm just doing my job here. I'm just asking some questions. Nah, would, no. Ever. What do you mean, no? That's a no. Okay. Well, then, man. Point is, I told him he can't break up with you because... That's it. It's too much, too much time in there. You know, it's way too much money. The the probably like what, like the last like year and a half or two years or whatever that I've been chilling with y'all consistently. It's like yo, too much money, man. Like too much money. I waste a lot of money, bro. Yeah, man. So it's like you can't, you just can't go back to that unless unless you write a check for like all like the <laughs> day, all the money that is getting back, like the IRS. That would man. be the proper breakup. I think yeah, so too. Be you know what? That would be a good breakup. You That's give me 20 good. grand, I can... No, no, tell me, you know, I ain't just thought about that shit. You know, we, we, we made a podcast about um, not paying for the first day yeah. and all that stuff. I think, right, in my opinion, that whenever men start going on dates now, keep those receipts. Right? <laughs> keep those receipts and start and write and make a note on the receipt what she ate, what you ate, all of that stuff, right? Split the bill. No, no, because you pay for it, right? Like, like women want you to pay for it. Okay, cool. And if you stay with this girl, cool, you know, you continue to pay for stuff. That, that, but that if works. not, you tie them all together exactly. like tax returns. Exactly. But if you don't, if you don't end up together, then it's cool. We do the math on what you ate, you know what I'm saying? The money, the expenses <laughs> that were wasted on you, and you will reimburse me a check back. I think that that's, I think that's only right. That would be a good way. I think that's right. Yeah. I think that financially, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're, we're good on that end. You know, you keep your, like, cookie rule, you know, in the jar, whole 90-day rule shit going. And men, you know, we to keep our money. You know what I'm saying? We, we get reimbursed for something that we, we were investing in. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it didn't pay off. It didn't pay off because technically we're investing. We're, women aren't investing. So what are you saying? We're all trying equal opportunity here. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to build wealth. So we got to get paid so back. So women, women need to start investing also. You know what I'm saying? Cause get, pay yeah. you back. Yeah, pay you back. Exactly. Yo, you know what? I just came up with a brilliant idea. That's it. That's it. Nah, you, Yo, you answer the problem. Listen, guys. I'm going to create a document, a contract, right? So it's almost like a prenup type stuff going on, right? It's gonna be a predatum. Yeah, a predatum. I like the name of that. Are you going somewhere with this? You going somewhere with this? A oh, predatum. Look, you can write this shit down. You can you can make the form. We'll make In this. accordance with statute. <laughs> yes, exactly. And before we, you know, go ahead on this date, we sign that. You know what? What if we made an app like that? Yeah, not about like that. a digital site? Yeah, yeah, no, no, like an app, like a dating app, right? But this specific dating app tracks all your dates and your finances. Yes, yes, like it. tracks it all like, down. You know, um, so you don't even have to contact them. The app will contact them for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then eventually, if they don't pay up, it'll go to collections. No, no, no it requires card information to sign Ooh, up. So even if you don't want to pay, it's gonna take the it's money out. It's gonna take out. it anyway. But what if they go overdraft? Routing number. Oh, because even the right now so you can take it out. So you're gonna go gangster. Yeah, I like you know you go somewhere with this. I like this. Yo, this is really a good idea. Like it's it. not a bad idea. No, it's a really good idea. Look, and I'm telling you, and if they don't pay though, because they don't have the funds, they'll go to collections. No, no, so no, this, no. Yo, if it goes to collections, you owe a debt. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't show any credit reports. You want to buy a house one day? Yo, you better pay up that money. So you man. better take this dating game serious. Now you gotta be more. Yeah, cheap. man. Yeah, hey, cause look, you know, and, there, and this is the thing, you know, girls will go on dates with guys if they know they're gonna get some free food. For a free meal. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, why not? Like, yo, I get a free meal. Yo, I just think, I just think we came up with something. Yo, we going somewhere with this? We going somewhere? Free date. I'm coming soon. I right, look, man. So if you think that women cheat more than men. Yo, let us know, because I do think so. I think women cheat more than men do. I think Hispanic men are faithful men. You know what I'm saying? I think that they stay strong. Like I said, the reason Hispanic men are faithful and they have to be faithful is because they have too many jobs. <laughs> you know, Hispanic men work at least five jobs. Everybody knows that. You get me? That's, that's like constitutional. You know what I'm saying? You come to this country, you're from Mexico, you're from Guadalajara. Yeah, you got at least five jobs. It has got at least five jobs. You don't got time to cheat. You don't got time to be... You know, finessing your way around. You get me? And if your wife's a housewife, we got problems. She stays high. If she's Hispanic, the milkman comes around. The mailman comes around. You know, man, let me 
wearing the little shorts and something, and you know, bro, the quads out here on some of these male men. Yo, we just saw a guy in T-Mobile. Yo, this guy look like Thor. Like <laughs> Thor's little brother. Like, why the fuck are you working here? You think a mailman, there's no swole mailman out here? The cousin really delivers the mail, you know what I'm saying? Roof, roof. And this thing, what's, what's the app going to be called? Oh, we're making this app. Y'all trying to steal this? We got proof right here, bro. Right here. What's, what's, um, what, what do you think about the app? What do you think it's going to be called? It's going to be called... Come on, but you got on the spot right now? I gotta think about it. I think I think about it. I don't know, Predator was pretty good, but that's for the document. Yeah, for the document. That's for the document. Come on, man. I'm down, finds love. No. I'm no. down, finds love for you. No, I got it. Instead of find love, it's gonna be fund love. Fund love. <laughs> hey, you know what? Okay. Because you, you guys are paying off. Yeah, so sure we might done. work there. You know what I'm saying? We, we got something to work there, though. You know, but again, hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you think. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you guys. See you next time.